Hey everybody, Zone Vamus here, and welcome back to No One But You. Hold on. Let me turn back on my volume. Alright. So if you don't remember where we where we were before, we were at the mall and um We came home from Rio's place the night before. And now we're at the mall and we're Now we're going to going to see what happens. Also I'm wearing a Tokyo Ghoul shirt. Fucking awesomeness. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cool, bro. Alright. Also, there's uh, Beyblade Stadium over there. Because me and my little brother are going to record another challenge video. Hopefully, you guys, when, I, when we record that, you, hopefully you guys will like it. So, let's begin. Since we arrived, the two of us have been have done a little more than walk around exploring exploring the surprisingly large complex. So far this trip has been about getting to know my way around. There are a number of of interesting stores around here. I certainly can see myself coming back. What's more, it isn't very crowded in here, so I don't feel like I had need to rush about around rush about rush around hey I'm getting thirsty do you want a drink hey everyone out there do you want a drink do you want a beer with me no just me okay okay uh, I suppose that's natural we have we have been walking around non-stop all right please do Okay, wait for me here. This is fun. Will do. Oh my. Rio turned around and, and began his search for a vending machine. Wait, why didn't we just go together? I'm just standing here waiting for Rio while he buys me something. It almost feels like maybe this is a date after all. Oh, man. As I begun to ponder my worrying relationship with Rio, I heard someone call my name. Hidaki? Ah, oh, so it is you. I didn't think I'd see you here. Oh, hi, Megumi. What are you doing here? I was just I was just out with some friends, but they had to leave, so I kept shopping on my own. I see. Should probably get her my cursor off her boobs. <laughs> I see. What about you? What are you doing here? I'm actually out with Rio at the moment. Rio? Of all people you could have chosen, you decided to hang out with him. Yep. I know I shouldn't should have charged him more for your phone number. Hey, it's bad enough that you're auctioning off my phone number to begin with. <laughs> I agree. That's awful. Wait, no. How the heck did you get my phone number? Now, now, don't be like that. She's blushing again, and it's adorable. It's perfectly natural for us to have each other's phone numbers, isn't it? Yes. But I don't think I have yours. But wait, I don't think... But wait, I don't have your phone number. Sure you do. Don't you ever use your phone? What are you saying? Oh. Just to be certain, I took my phone. Surely enough, there are several new entries, none of which I recognized. Meg, Megumi, Megumi H, Megumi Hinohara, Heno M-Chan. A little bit of an identity Wait, yeah, identity crisis. C calm down, Aki. Use your inside voice. 
Another thing, why do you keep swapping between Heidi, Hideaki, Aki, and Haikun? I feel like I'm having an identity crisis here. I literally just said that. I said identity crisis, didn't I not? Oh, Heidi, don't be such a drama queen. <laughs> I, I like this girl, she's awesome, I love her. Oh, I love this game. It's funny. There's a perfectly reasonable explanation for all of this. You see, first I... Here you go. Oh my, if it isn't Megumi. If I knew you were here, I would have bought you one too. You can have some of mine if you want. No, thank you. You can just see her face in the corner there. It's just like, no, thank you. Oh. Swing! Oh, suit yourself. <laughs> I'm probably going to regret fanning the flames, but... You can have some of mine if you want. I'd love some! What the hell? You agreed to share his without batting an eye. Um, I just like his flavor better. But we have the exact same flavor. I knew this would happen. Sorry, Ryo, if this is your punishment for waking me up at such an ungodly hour. Calm down, Ryo, it's not a big deal. Everyone's out to get me. Aw, cheer up, Rio. More importantly, look over there. Isn't that Yui? Yui? You mean the one from our class? Yui? How many Yui's do you know? <laughs> yeah, it does look like her. Um, what? Don't bother her. Come on. I'm trying to stay on her good side. Maybe we shouldn't bother her. If you talk to her, she's just gonna get mad. Hideaki is right. Why do you just... Why do you just assume things won't go well for me? You've started pouting. <laughs> don't be like that. We just don't want to see you get hurt. But I like talking to you. We don't we have a great chemistry together? But I like okay. Oh Rio. Poor Rio. He's so innocent. Or stupid. Or naive. Or I'm a bad friend, aren't I? Let's just do something else. I agree. So what do you guys plan on doing? <coughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, we're just planning. Just going to hang around or something. Sounds like fun, can I come along with you guys? Hey, stop eating up my Heidi time. I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel as it is, you know. Then you should be begging me to come along, since it won't count if we were both here. Megumi, my friend, please do the honor. Uh, please do Hideaki and I the honor of escorting us as we patrol the fine establishment. I would be honored, kind sir. That worked out weird. I think I need to start picking my friends a little better. Dude, right now I'm pretty sure you have pretty good friends. Because right now, if I had those kind of friends, I wouldn't stop talking to them. I'd be the one saying that, they'd be the one saying that they chose the wrong friend. Good. Cool. As the day dragged on and our outing came to a close, the three of us headed home. We all separated from Megumi and I fairly quickly since we weren't far from his house, leaving Megumi and I to walk home together. Thanks for walking me home. No problem. Today was surprisingly fun. 
Real isn't as bad as I thought. Yeah, he's he's he he might be a bit peculiar, but he does. What did I just click? Okay, okay, um, okay, okay. But he does mean well, if you say so. Anyway, I have to go now. We should hang out like this more often. I agree. Yeah, I think so too. Great, I'll see you tomorrow. Night. Good night. Cute. Wait, did Mikami just simply reveal that she's going to seek me out tomorrow? I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. What are meeting today at the mall? That was a coincidence, right? After returning to my own home at last, I greeted my mother in the kitchen. Man, I walked a lot today. How's your date? What? Uh, I mean, did you enjoy ha your hanging out? Mmm, it was, it was fun. We came across another friend of mine in town. I'm talking really fast right now. I bet you can't even elaborate what I'm trying to say. Oh my, you've become quite popular already. Not really. You're being modest, you know. You know that everyone loves you. Uh, awkward. <laughs> You're starting to embarrass me, Mom. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'll go up to my room now. <laughs> Don't you want to eat dinner first? No, we ate out. Right now, I just want to sleep. <laughs> All right, honey. Good night. Night. I want to get a little more progress on this. What? Did you guys see that? It was like a transition. It was black. And then it went back to the main space. And then it went to my room. I'm completely confused. I'm having a friend of friend of... I'm having a crisis here. I feel so good to change clothes after a long day. I would seriously stay in these pajamas all day if I could. Damn you, society, you judgmental bitch. Oh. I opened the window and looked outside. Mm, the breeze is so nice. And so is the brew, the brew, the brew, the view. I didn't notice before, but I can see the river from here. What a great sight. And it somehow feels... Nostalgic. As the feeling of times passed by, I got... <laughs> That's weird. Who, who could be out there this late? Oh yeah, there's a figure outside the window. I kept staring at the... I kept staring at the unmoving figure. Perhaps I'm just imagining things. I'm pretty tired after all. Maybe I should go to bed. After I... Uh, I walked over to my bed, lay down, and closed my eyes. Okay. For how long have I been staring at this mirror? I don't know what it is, but some but today something feels wrong. I'm not liking the situation much. No, I'm sure it's nothing. I'll just go downstairs, have breakfast, and see where the day takes me. Mom? Are you here? No response. I looked around but couldn't see her anywhere. Mom's probably just working in a room. I shouldn't bother her. With no particular reason to hang around the house, I opened the door and walked outside. I'm not liking this. As I walked into the street, I noticed how eerie, how eerie quiet everything seemed. <coughs> this is strange. I know this isn't a particular particularly large town, but there are usually more people outside than this. 
I can't see or hear a single person. Oof, I kept walking along. Hmm, which way should I go? As if I have a choice. I guess I'll go by the bridge today. I kind of feel like I have to go by there this morning. After seeing that silhouette last night, I, um, I it's almost as though something's calling for me. I turned right and started walking down the empty road. This is creeping me out some... some... what? It's really quiet. The only thing I can hear is this, the wind blowing beneath the trees. Oh, man. I'm sorry, you guys have to see that. I got irritated. I have irritated skin on my chin. It's really quiet. The only thing I can hear is the wind blowing beneath the tr between the trees. There's nobody here. That's strange. I saw... This theme song is Second Dream. I have all the theme songs. Ooh, chills. Oh, I got chills going down my back. That's strange. I was sure I saw someone here. What? Oh, this theme song is giving me chills. Oh, it's so good, but it's so creepy as well. Scaring me, man. It's sending chills down my freaking back. I'm not even joking you. This is legit. So. That's strange. I'm sure, I saw someone here. I walked over to the bridge and started staring at the river. This is so weird. Everything is way too quiet. I haven't come across a single person today. It was rather nice at first, but now it's just creepy. I agree! I kept staring at my own reflection in the water. What the? What the froyo? What is going on here? Why don't you just let it go? Huh? Who said that? I look around, and no one was, no one was to be seen. With no other human image in sight, I looked back at my own reflection. Oh, chills. If I looked like him, I would. I, if I had the option to, I would. What in the world is going on here? What's the point of thinking about it? This way is better this way. What are you talking about? The silence. The emptiness. Not having to worry about anything. Having no one left to hurt. Who are you? The water is really nice down here. Down at the bottom of this cold, deep, dark river. Why don't you join me? As those, reached, as those words reached my ears, a hand came out of the water and started dragging me in. Hey, hey! Let me go! Why are you fighting me? You know what is better for me. You know what this is better for I don't want this. Oh gosh! My body touched the cold water as I could, as I was dragged into the river. Shh! There's no use to fighting it. Oh! My whole body was submerged underneath the water. I was sinking slowly into the depths of the river. I'm starting to run out of air. There's nothing I can do. Is this it for me? No. Oh, God. Don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. What? Is that it? What happened? 29 days later. Come on, man. That scared me. I was like, come on. Let go of me! <sighs> huh? I'm in my room? Oh no, this, this theme song is gonna give me chills too. 
it happened again. That same damn dream. For the past month now, I've been having that dream on and off. It's horrible. It feels so weird. Real. Serious situation, guys. Why the hell am I being haunted by such a disturbing dream? Is it supposed to mean something? No, maybe I'm overthinking this. It was just a dream after all. No matter how real it feels, I just... It's just a dream. So what do you think? Aki, are you even listening to me? Uh, uh, sorry, did you say something? Hmm. You're really out of it today. Was it that was it that dream again? Yeah, same as ever. With the ongoing torture of my subconsciousness has been gone has gone has been through. I feel like I had to confide with someone about that dream of mine. My mother kept surpri surprisingly tight-lipped, and I couldn't talk to Rio about it. Such a serious subject. So Megumi seemed like the, local ch the logical choice. Oh, you shouldn't be worried about it so much. I hate seeing you like this. It was just a... It's just a dream, Aki-kun. It cannot hurt you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Look, is our look our teacher is here. Just focus on the lesson and you'll forget about it. But all about that nasty dream in no time. Oh no! This makes it sound so simple. Talk, taking Megumi's advice to heart, I kept my eyes on our teacher long, and before long, lesson had begun. Okay. As the day dragged on and our lesson came to a close, I found myself strangely tired. <sighs> These restless nights cannot be can't be good for me. I really need to stop with the nightmares already. I stood up and stretched my body. Oh well, no point in worrying about it now. Go up to the roof. I suppose I'll go up to the roof again. Although there's nothing special up there, it's possible that I'll see that girl from before. Shiro. I walked out, out of the classroom towards the stairs. Um, upon my, be, upon beginning my ascent from the staircase, I quickly realized how out of shape I was. Oh, damn you stairs, why do you have to be so long? I should really start getting more exercise. As I drew closer to the roof, however, something distracted me from my lack of fitness. I could faintly hear the sound of a guitar. As though someone had gone up to the roof to play. Ooh! Huh? That's weird. Could that be. Could that sound be coming from the roof? Right? I opened the door and walked out onto the roof. As I did, as I did so, I saw the same girl I met the first day I came up here. Sitting and playing on an acoustic guitar. Soulmates. On the other on the other side, I have boy and a girl sitting there listening to her. With my next course fashion obvious, I began listening to the girl play as I leaned against on the wall. <laughs> She's really good at this. It's amazing seeing her play the guitar like that while. Like that while the wind blows right through her white hair. I admired the I admired the girl before me and she finished playing her song. Wow, that was pretty great. Huh? Hi hi Nike. What are you doing here? I felt like coming to the roof again. And I see you you're here again. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, I forgot your name again. Shiro. Huh, it's Shiro. Shiro, that's right. I, how could I forget a name like that? You know what, I'll just write it on my hand. I took out a black marker and wrote her name on my hand. You didn't have to do that. I didn't want, I didn't, 
I just don't want to get into another awkward conversation because of my useless brain. Seriously, forgetting a cute girl's name. Shame on you, Hidaki. I agree with... I agree. Shame. For shame. I've been in Shiloh's class for a, over a month now, and I should be able to remember her name. Haha, <laughs> you're so silly, Hidaki. You're just... No, you're just adorable. Yep, but silly with standards. Haha. <laughs> Cheryl giggled and looked at her, looked at her guitar. Yes. I see I have some fans up here. Oh, you mean Ren and Junko? They usually come up up here to hang out. They real. I, I haven't really spoken to them before, but they seem like a really cute couple. I see. I looked at the couple in question and saw them holding hands while giggling to each other. Eh, <coughs> yeah, they're a bit too affectionate, if you ask me. Really? I don't think so. Seriously? It's like they're Romeo and Juliet. Ha ha ha! Now that you mention it, I can't see the similarity. This bud of love by the summer's ripening breath may prove the beauteous flower when next, when next we meet. Ha ha ha! Keep it down, they might hear you. Shiro started giggling despite trying her best to keep it in. I have to say I, I, that I am impressed with your knowledge of literature. <laughs> you know me, I love to read. That's nice. I love to read. I love literature too. <laughs> Soul mates. Raya, you owe me, baby. What? That's actually the only quote I know. <laughs> and it's because I heard it in a movie once. <laughs> Crap movie, but... I might add it. Yep, I just love books. But enough of that. Let's talk about your musical talent. You were rocking with that guitar. I don't know about that. Are you kidding? You're totally awesome. Cheryl looked away shyly. Where did you learn to play so well? I used to play a lot of instruments when I was young. But I didn't even press anything. Oh. Music club, eh? That makes sense. Yeah, I've been... A fan of music for a while. When I'm playing, I forget all about my problems. Just for a few minutes, I feel like I can escape from this world and go to a different place. A quiet and empty world with no worries whatsoever. I'm able to get away from this caged existence and be free for once. That's rather deep philosophical, isn't it? Shiro stopped playing and looked at me. <laughs> well, that was unexpectedly deep. Haha, <laughs> sorry, I got carried away there for a second. It's okay, I do that all the time. Really? Yep, sometimes I just blank out and become a philosoph and become philosophical out of nowhere. Haha, <laughs> so I'm not the only crazy one. Nope, we share the same insanity, it seems. Cheryl giggled and, and put her guitar down. I think we should head back now before we get into trouble. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet already left. So, I... So we should go too. <laughs> that was random. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just before our next lesson could begin, Shiro and I descended from the roof and returned to our classroom. With school for the day over. With school over for the day, my friends either gone or participating in club activities. I wonder what to do with myself. Oh. I'd like to go get home as soon as possible. But after that dream I, la I had last night, it's a bit unsettling to be all alone. Maybe I should find someone to help walk home with? I could, I could certainly wait for Shiro and Megumi to wait to finish with their club activities. No, there's no telling how long they might take. 
I don't want to wait around for hours just because I feel antsy. I forget it, I'll just walk home alone. I started walking home alone down the street until I arrived at the bridge. I've been avoiding this bridge since I since I first had that dream, but I can't keep running away just because of some product of my imagination. Besides, purposely av avoiding this place makes me feel like I'm avoiding Chinatsu. And speaking of Chinatsu, though I knew without looking, I nonetheless turned my attention to the side of the bridge where Chinatsu was sitting all alone. Well, I was looking for someone to walk home with. Dr. Chinatsu, come on! I suppose it is about time we were reunited. I can't let that dream control me forever, after all. I walked towards Chinatsu and sat down next to her. Hey there! Oh. Hey there, Hideki. At the bridge, I love this theme song, too! All of the theme songs in this frickin' game are perfect. I love them. It feels like it's been a while since we spoke. Yeah, sorry about that. I've kind of been avoiding the bridge ever since I started having this weird dream. A dream? What was this about? Maybe sharing it with me will make you feel better. Sharing it with Megumi didn't really help, but I suppose it's worth a shot. Chinatsu is far more, far more mature than Megumi, after all. I'm sure she'll know what to do. Yeah. Well, it's a strange dream. It's a recurring dream, one of which I, one of which always feels totally real. It starts with me going to school as usual. I told Chinatsu everything and down to the down to even the smallest of details. And that's what happened. I know it seems stupid, but it really did unsettle me. Chinatsu turned away turned away for a second and looked back at me. That sounds scary. I would feel the same way if I had that dream. Damn it. Even someone as mature as Chinatsu feels that way? But ultimately it's just a dream. It doesn't have it doesn't really have to mean anything. Dreams are usually random, and such dreams occur because of some sort of stress. Really? That's weird, because that's been happening with me. I've been having this weird dream occurring. Now, I know that might sound freaking cliche because I'm playing a game, and this guy's having a freaking dream reoccurring. Recurring. But it's true, I keep on- I go to my bed, uh, here and at my mother's, and I keep on having this weird dream, I just have no idea what it is. I mean, it could be, like, like, could it just be me? Could I? I mean, okay, shut up, Zoli. Play the game. You shouldn't give it too much thought. I don't like seeing you, like, I don't like seeing you, you I don't like- Seeing you, seeing you distorted like that. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I'm overthinking this. <laughs> I feel just, I feel like I've just been rambling this whole time. So sorry. Don't be. I'm glad you shared it, that with me. <laughs> She's adorable too. What do I do? Come on. They're all adorable. I mean, come on. Even Rio somehow is pretty cute as well. Somehow, all the characters in this game are adorable. Chinatsu smiled and turned away from me so as to look at the sunset. I always like this time of day when the sun starts setting. It's really nice to see it from afar, isn't it? Yeah. Chinatsu's right. I can't let a silly dream run this place for me. No matter how scary that dream might be, it's just a dream. It's ultimately it's just a dream, nothing more. I like this game a lot. It's so cool. 
Shinatsu and I sat there together a while, watching the sunset. Before we knew it, the day had turned into night. It was time for to head home. Alrighty, ready to go? Huh? Come on, I'll walk you home. And this time I'll actually get you there, not just walk you halfway. There's no need for that. Nonsense, I'd like to walk you there. Even if it is, even if it's far away. Let's get going. I started walking ahead for a few seconds, despite her reluctance. It's not to follow me. <sighs> After walking together for a while, Chinatsu seemed to become nervous. Uh, actually, I should go the rest myself. Once again, Chinatsu insisted on going home by herself. This time around, however, her eyes seemed to be straining as if she was holding back tears. Are you sure it's not a long... Yes, I'm sure. Go, go on home now, Hayaki-san. She called me Hayaki-san. That's weird. Okay. I'll see you later. It sure was odd. If I follow her, okay, I don't want to go home alone. So. Swimming. It's okay, we all go through these kind of days every now and then. They're just unavoidable. Part of life. It's not very reassuring. No, no, don't be all mopey. More importantly, you have to finish your play, otherwise you don't get any dessert. Hey, you're treating me like a kid now? No, I'm giving you a choice. You have the choice if you want dessert or not. Oh! Fine, I'll eat everything. It's like that chocolate cake is calling out to me. You can do it, Heidi. What? Finish everything on your plate. Mm -hmm. What the hell is happening in this game? Corp. Intel Corp. Intel Corp. Intel Corp. <laughs> oh, I won't give me a little more. Okay, Every day, today included, I rose from my bed. Surprisingly, with surprising, surprising ease. Ate breakfast without a kind of complaint. Dropped the school without a second thought. Without paying any attention to my crap anymore. Without paying my path any real thought, I found myself walking towards Chance's bridge. And of course, as the name would suggest, I found the lamb banner herself in the same spot as ever. 
Morning, Baron. What? In reply to my greeting, unsure of whether I was talking to her or not. Okay, that only made. I guess uh, that only made sense to me. Okay, I'll try, let's try this again. Good morning, Jinatsu. Yeah, good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm good. I had. I had a good night's sleep, which restored all my HP. HP. Oh, wow. Even if... Oh, come on, Shinatsu. <laughs> Even if you aren't into video games, that reference is pretty basic. I agree with that. Totally. Never mind. Ready to go to school? Yes, I suppose. It is about at that time. Let's go! Ugh, I'm trying to clean off this part of the freaking. How do I. I want to figure out. Because I now know that you can get different endings for each character, so I want to figure out how to get Shiro's. I have to go to class. class. class now. So, wait. Yes? I don't really see her around at school. We should hang out more. Oh, I see. I'm just really busy at school between classes and club activities helping the teachers. That isn't surprising. Janatsu seems like that kind of person. Indeed. Yes. Agreed. Hanging out by the bridge is fun. But I can be around here. But I can be around here too. I guess so, but... Well, maybe some other time. Okay, I don't want to take up any more of your time. So I'll see you later. Goodbye. I wonder how she is around other people. It's great to spend time together peacefully. But it would be nice to... Hi, Daki! Ah! Megumi poked me from behind while shouting. Why would you do that? Ha uh, I don't know. Because it's funny? You were standing there alone, deep in thought. I couldn't miss the opportunity. You're just so adorable when you're scared. Oh! <laughs> oh, man! I wasn't scared. I was just surprised. Surprisingly scared, maybe. <laughs> I go. Oh, I'll get you back one day, Hachi. <laughs> so, what are you doing now at the gates all alone? You weren't waiting for me, were you? You should know by now that I, that I always beat you to school. <laughs> not that I don't appreciate the thought. Uh, no, it's nothing like that. I was walking with Tanatsu until a moment ago. But she had to leave. Tanatsu? She's a sophomore here at the school. Hmm, is that so? Oh, no. I'm gonna be late, let's go. Oh, okay. What? Hi, D. Aki. Hi, D. Aki. Separate Teachers in the area, so we got some time to chat. Yeah, I, yeah, I get. Want to check out this new manga I got? Not that I have a problem with that. It's just not at school again. What? No, I don't. Not always. But anyway, I'm into more mystery, paranormal stuff. Oh! What? I mean, you say that. something. You've heard about the paranormal events that occur here in the school, right? Uh, no? Okay, then. The short version is... There's, uh, there's been some gossip going around, around about supernatural things happening in the school. The one thing that interests me is the Midnight Ghost. The Midnight Ghost? How creative. He's off the sarcasm. Let me explain. 
the story says that at midnight, when almost everyone is asleep, the school will be in total silence for a few seconds. Then you will hear the sound coming from one of the rooms. The old janitor used to say, oh, do you really believe that? It sounds like a cliche ghost, or the most cliche ghost story ever. And from what I heard, the old janitor quit his job because he found a better one. Anything is better than being a janitor in the school, I'd say. <laughs> wait, really, don't... Wait, really, don't crush my, dr crush my dreams, ma'am. What if you're wrong? What if there really is a, a ghost at, our, uh, at school? A lost soul that is suffering. A soul that wants to be free and lingering and with a lingering attachment, keeping it from doing so. Wouldn't it be amazing for us to... We live in a boring, normal world where nothing interest, interesting happens. It's the same routine every day. Don't you think it would, would, would be... There, it would be a change? Wow, that's actually a really nice approach. Anything you had in any real though. You're deeper than I thought. I'm getting more... I'm getting more interested in this. Yeah. And, and like, what if it's a girl? A hot ghost girl who wants to, who can become my girlfriend. I'll uh, have a ghost girlfriend, man. And I'll tell, take back everything nice I just said about you. I don't mean to interrupt, but did I hear you guys talking about Midnight Ghost? Not you too, Shiro. Oh, you've heard about it? Yes, the story is... Peculiar, particular always interests me. So then, do you believe it's true then? It might be. I've heard some people say it's true. I wanted to find out for myself, but never had the chance. Oh, I know. Why don't we come to the school at night and figure out, figure it out by ourselves? We can do that. I have a copy of the school's keys. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm not gonna ask how you got them. Whatever the case, it it's it, it makes our job much easier. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You want guys want to you two want us to come to the school at the middle of the night to search for a ghost. Yep. That's none of my business. You two can do whatever you want. Adaki, stop being such a party pooper. It would be the bomb. Yeah, Adaki. You should really be a... Yeah, Hidaki, this should be really interesting. Darn, these two are excited. I don't get why they have to go. But I suppose... I might as well supervise. Supervise. I wouldn't want to leave Shiro alone late at night with Rio. Fine. We'll enact your crazy and totally naughty illegal plan. Woohoo! This is so exciting, I can't wait until tonight. Your parents are okay with you being out in the middle of the night? Yeah, they don't they don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, it's fine. If you say so. Oh the teacher's here. Rio on the other hand lingled, lingered around a little longer. Hey hi Daiki, I one more question. Yes, Rio? Rio lowered his voice as he spoke, and the tone the tone in his voice sounded serious. Wow, it's rare for for Eve to for for Rio to ever sound like sound this serious. Something really important must be. Who the hell was that girl? Did you get another girlfriend? Damn you, Playboy! I'm so freaking jealous. You better help me hook up with that ghost girl, you per perverted bastard. Sometimes I wonder why I'm friends with this guy. Just sit down, Rio. Okay, everyone, settle down. You return your seats and let's get started. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave that right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.